Uh, so I'm going to New Game in 3, 2... I'm pressing up on New Game in 3, 2, 1, now. Well, welcome back everybody. So today we are playing... Okay, so I'm pressing up on New Game in 3, 2, 1, now. Well, welcome back, you absolute bigots. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be playing the... Our most anticipated game of the year, better than Stellar Blade, better than Wukong, better than Silent Hill 2 Remake. Of course, we're talking about Dragon Age, the Vile Guard. Alright, so, I'm going to make a bunch of videos, and they're all going to be between 30 to 40 minutes long, uh, because it's easier for uh, my computer to process the videos faster. So I want to ram through this game as fast as possible before the Twitter and Reddit Inquisition get to me because I might misgender some people in the video game and that is illegal. I should be ashamed of myself if I do. <laughs> Alright, pressing start for new game in 3, 2, 1, now. So the first video, I'm going to do just the Are character creation alone. Smart, thoughtful. Love to hear himself talk, but long ago, he had a different name. God protect the my soul. Wolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny, depending on which story you believe. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned. Wow, they couldn't even the give us a cinematic split opening. Split our world from the raw magic of the fate. So I purchased the physical copy of the, the game one. but the veil and I'm playing an everything. unpatched magic, day one version of the game freedom, even their immortality so I have three days now, to return the so game so I'm gonna try to and get as veil, much free footage as I could the damage he caused and then I'm gonna trade it in for a good our game world has to burn Yes, uh, this world does have Somebody's to burn. Somebody's got to stop him. We're talking to you, EA and Bioware. Biohazard. Come in. All right. So we have a choice who we want to play. Elf. Krapnari. Kevin Hart or Dwarf. Alright, so I'm gonna select <laughs> Warmonger. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh... is she okay? Alright, so Let's attempt to, uh, so we're a uh, woman and, so we're a woman and clearly our pronouns are going to be, uh, he, him, because, you know, that does make a lot of, uh, logical sense. Uh, I think that's all right. All right. What do we have as genders, man, woman, non Binary. Well, if you're non-binary, why would you need uh, pronouns? Look, I'm not a uh, gender studies uh, scholar. A lot of this stuff is uh, mystical uh, to me and magical uh, things that I do not <laughs> understand. So I'm just going to go with the, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a base level human being. You know, default character. I spawned into this world as is. And I never decided to re-roll my character. Holy shit, I've been watching way too much Asmongold. Alright, so... Let's try to customize. So we have some appearances. Alright, so... This is that default.
That's this default. They did you dirty. They did you dirty. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I selected a woman with she, her pronouns. Did I not? Then what the hell is this? Oh, that's right. Make believe land. Oh, I didn't know that we can uh, select uh, what the hell's that guy's name? The that uh, director uh, made uh, Thor, Love and Thunder. Crap! What the hell's his name? Who cares? That's what his name is. Who cares? Notice how they never use a white character for Vitiligo. You guys do know that white people do also get Vitiligo, right? Uh, I did disable music uh, because uh, Biohazard uh, has started claiming some of my uh, Dragon Age uh, videos. Oof, she's strunk. Very strunk. Very strunk. Look at this guy here. This is a female. All right, so I'm going to attempt to customize a sexy woman. All right. Okay, so we have some backgrounds. All right, so I'm going to use that as my head shape. Can we make can we make the head small? So this first video is just going to be the character creation. So I'm going to spend a bit of time creating uh, this uh, uh, humalian, uh, humunculus, humanoid creature, and then I'm going to do the actual gameplay videos on their own. All right, so set features to default uh, for the best head blending exper head blending experience. That is a sentence for the best head blending experience. Very natural sentence right there. We recommend setting all facial features sliders to their base values. This can also be done from the. All right, good. But no, we want to see what you guys think. Bioware. Biohazard, what a default head size is. All right, complexion, skin tone. So I want to see if we can create a normal human being. Challenge level, impossible. Uh, if you guys enjoy the video, remember guys, if you guys enjoy the video, you're not liking the video because you're liking Dragon, Drag Queen Age, the Vagina Guard, you are liking the video for my personal take on the game, my entertainment value for the game. And you can also choose to dislike for the opposite as well. Completely up to you. Okay, uh, melanin. Okay, I thought the melanin would have uh, reduced the frecklage. So, vitiligo intensity. Oh. Comp no, I, I don't. Okay, I kind of like this one better. All right, so what is our vitiligo <laughs> intensity? So let's see what 100% looks like. So my uncle does actually have vitiligo. Not really on his face, but he has it on uh, his uh, body. So let's see what it looks like at 100%.
All right, so remember, guys, this character, I don't know. I don't know if I'm trying to create a normal-looking character or not. All right, forehead and brow. All right, so we have quite a bit of uh, selection over here. Okay, I'm going to attempt to make a good-looking female Ian. Beautiful. Beautiful. She's gorgeous. Okay. Scalp. I don't understand what the hell this is. Scalp. Okay, I'm not gonna touch. I'm not gonna touch that. Larynx. Hmm. Okay, let's put everything to 100%, see what that looks like. Now that's an Adam's apple Papa would be proud of. <laughs> All right. So apparently this game does have a full frontal uh, nudity. And there it is. Uh, I wonder, do we have selection of uh, nippleage color? Because uh, most women tend uh, to have Nipples that are not the same color as their uh, skin tone. <laughs> All right, so this would be our body shape. The head, man, the head is way too big for the body. Okay. Beautiful. Body proportions. So that's what the shortest for the human is. My re Recording. Okay. So I do want her to be tall. Okay. Sh what was that swimmer, female swimmer's name that uh, beat all the women? All right. So now for the chest size. So. This is zero percent. So are you are you serious? Okay, let, let's look at it from a different angle. So that's a hundred percent. Okay, kind of bigger than what I expected, but uh, 
this is not okay. My girlfriends tend to have C's, and and one or two of them had D's. Where is that representation? All right. So waist size. So this is fifteen percent. So this is zero percent. Give her some wide birthing herps. Okay, I'm trying to give our girl here a nice hourglass shape, but the the hips don't get bigger than this. Like it's the hips don't get any bigger than that. All right, now for the glutes. So this is zero percent. So the thing is, it's like they're just zooming in to the glutes. They're not actually adding volume to it. All right, and then for the bulge size. Yeah, th th thanks for positioning the hand right there so we... Oh, you do actually see a bulge. That's funny. All right. So the eye shape. You know, if the head wasn't so big, I'm almost satisfied with the way she looks. Eyelids hooded? What does that mean? Oh. Wait. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, that uh, fatty, well, not fatty skin, that's uh, that skin on top of your uh, eyelids. Eyelash shape. I, I gotta commend them, They're, they are giving you... See, like I said, guys, I do tend to review things very fairly. So when I do see something that uh, I am surprised about, I will, uh, I will say it. Right, I'll probably go with number 30. Yeah, I'll go with number 30. So remember, I'm trying to create a attractive looking female character. We will get to the silliness afterwards. Don't you worry. All right, eyelash intensity. For the color. Uh, so you can 
select the shape of her nose. Okay, I think the default is kind of find that jaw. The jaw is a little bit way too masculine. All right, hairstyles. All right, there's a... Oh! Hi, Elisa Mercant! That's Elisa. All right. And that's Kim Belair. So I am likely going to be playing a female character, so of course I'm going to try and create the most uh, appealing character I could. And there's the... Uh, It's it's difficult. Like some hairstyles are really good, some hairstyles are puzzling. Some are just slight variations of other ones. Perfect. That is damn sexy. No? You wouldn't date her? All right, so what, what about a woman? What if she was a 10 face body, but she had a hairline like this? Don't forget, weaves are always an option. <laughs> All right, should I go with this style? I'm an 80s kid. Okay. I kind of want to go with more of a, uh, <laughs> you know, you can't tell me that this is not Elisa Mercant. You can't tell me that's not Elisa Mercant. You can't tell me. Okay, I'll, I'll go with that hairstyle. All right, starting. Okay, they, at least they gave us a. So, how much do you want to make a bet? There's going to be people that are trying to making videos that they're they're just showing that you can't make an attractive looking uh, character. And here I am making fun of the game, but also treating it fairly. All right, I'm I'm good with the eye makeup. I want to give her more of a rouge. I am a professional esthetician, of course. All right, so.
Where is... There's no gloss? Ah, uh, glossiness. All right, perfect. I do love me some glossy lips. Not gonna lie. All right. Do we have blush? Ah, our girl, our girl's good enough. Okay. Accept changes. Get okay. perfect. So this is going to be What? What? She looks better here. Look, this is her here. The character that I customized. What? Why did you change? Why? Oh, my character must have been too attractive. That's why. I hate that sneer in the first uh, pose. All right, so. A uh, rogue. Uh, no, I'm not interested in a rogue. So we got a warrior. All right. Okay, so I'm going to select the warrior. And now the faction, the Grey Wardens. Rook is a Grey Warden, an ancient military order. Okay. All right, so it does affect your uh, your clothing. Assassin's Creed. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So this is the Lords of Fortune. Okay. Dude, that is rough. That is rough on the eyes, man. That is rough on the eyes. And then the Antivan Crows. I made a joke about the Antivan Crows. Antiva from Antiva. I call them Antifa. People didn't realize I was making a joke. Yeah, for the aesthetic, I do like. I do like. Uh, I do like this. Okay, so the Seeker of Golden Glory. Playstyle, adventure, balance, experience. Huh. Nope. Here for the story. Oh, so this is okay. The play style is the level of difficulty. Okay, interesting. So I have been hearing a lot of people saying that they regret not start not playing the game uh, on an even uh, on an easy difficulty. So this is what I'm gonna do. Because I had said I was going to play it the easiest, 
so I could burn through it. So I'm going to start with the normal, which is the keeper. And if I'm finding that things are taking too long, I'm going to switch to uh, here for the story, the storyteller. And this setting can be changed at any time. Okay. All right. First name. So what are we going to call our character? So this is the character that I'm going to play with. I'm going to create a joke character uh, after. All right, so we can't uh, select our own last name. That's interesting. Okay. All right, so choose Rook's voice. Play the voice by pre okay. Time to get to work. <laughs> What's he been saying now? Well, we're not in trouble. Well, those are the well, masculine voices. Not in trouble. All right, let's hear this well, one. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. How come we don't have an option for higher pitch? Let's move. Oh, because it's... Uh... Yeah, anyways. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Okay. All right, so that is the video for the character customization. So after this video, I'm going to start the video for the actual gameplay. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, subscribe, and come back for the next video. Uh, so like I said, I'm going to be keeping these videos to a, between a half an hour to 45 minutes because it's going to be faster and easier to render that length of a video. So make sure you like, subscribe, come back for the next one. I appreciate you guys giving me some of your time today. Jiga Vega out. All right, later guys.